All right, let's talk about Dougal and the Blue Cat. So um, this is based on a uh, on this old cartoon series called uh, the Magic Roundabout. So um, it was like a yeah, it was like a French show in the '60s and '70s, and then it was like translated. Um, you know, into English in Britain on the BBC. Um, and yeah, it stars this uh, dog named Dougal, and, uh, you know, I, uh, and I can't say anything else about it because I, I, <laughs> I know nothing about this show, but uh, I don't know, maybe uh, one or both of my parents would know something about it, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so yeah, the, uh, story is there's this, uh, blue cat that, uh, comes and, uh, you know, he shows up at, uh, the, uh, I think it's a garden that, uh, Dougal and all his friends live at, and, uh, you know, the, uh, cat is, uh, secretly plotting to take over the whole garden but you know he's also serving this uh, disembodied voice and uh, <coughs> it's basically uh, it's basically yellow submarine all over again because it's like um, evil blue ruler wants to turn everything blue and they have like this army of blue creatures and yeah yeah, apparently uh, there was uh, apparently people had something against the color blue back then I don't know <laughs> but yeah um, and that's the basic plot um, and you know Dougal <clears throat> Dougal's like the only one who knows he's up to no good and he tries to stop him and yeah um, and that's about all I can say for the plot, but, um, you know, it's, by the way, it's a stop-motion cartoon series, by the way, um, so yeah, um, and this is, like, this is pretty much what you would picture when you think of, like, stop-motion cartoons back in the 60s and 70s. Um, it would look something like this, you know, this and Gumby and, uh, yeah. This did kind of feel like a cross between Gumby and Winnie the Pooh in a way. Um, anyway, um, so even though I know nothing about, uh, the cartoon this is based on, um, you know, it does a pretty good job, like, introducing, like, all the characters and, uh, you know, I don't know a whole lot about uh, the plot of the main show because, I mean, apparently it's, uh, apparently it's, since it's called the Magic Roundabout, it's somewhat focused on the titular Roundabout, which is a, uh, it's, it's either a fancy term they use or it's just British slang for, uh, for a, uh, uh merry-go-round, you know. I guess it's kind of a similar phrase. Um, uh, anyway, um, and yeah, the characters are all likable enough. You know, Dougal is, uh, you know, he's uh, a smart aleck, a bit of a jerk, but, uh, you know, he's kind of a lovable jerk, if you will. Um, you know, um, uh, there's a little girl that he interacts with. I, I guess she might be his owner or something. Um, yeah, no, she's your typical cutesy kid, although, uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, everyone's voiced by the same guy. His name is Eric Thompson. And yeah, I, I, I do, I do enjoy his, uh, like, dry, humorous delivery and everything. Um, there's all these side characters that we don't really get to know much about, but, uh, you know, I'm sure if I watch the original show, um, but, yeah, 
Um, and then we got the villains. There's the cat, who's, uh, um, I think he's what uh, TV Tropes refers to as card-carrying villain, because, like, you know, every other line is, I'm evil. Um, but he actually turns good in the end, and it turns out he wasn't actually blue, he's white. Um, although I think he does have, like, a blue face and paws. But anyway, yeah, he's, uh, um, and the disembodied voice, the, uh, what's her name? The, uh, uh, Madame Blue, she's voiced by Fenella Fielding. Um, I don't know much about this actress, but, uh, I know I've, uh, I must have heard her voice somewhere before. It's very recognizable, some about it. I don't know. Uh, I guess it's uh, also easy to get it mixed up with, like, Judy Dench or, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Maggie Smith, or, you know. I guess a lot of uh, older British ladies might have uh, similar, or, you know, British actresses. Anyway, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm getting off topic. Um, I mean, there's not much to talk about, um, but, you know, I did really like the uh, stop motion animation. Um, you know, the uh, world they created was charming, and, uh, you know, you can tell this movie is, like, meant for very young children, but at the same time, it's willing to get kind of scary at times, like, yeah, there's a few creepy parts in here, um, and yeah, the story's, the story's enjoyable, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I really have much else to say, I mean, this was cute, I, I actually really enjoy this, even as somebody who has never watched the original show, who knows, like, nothing about it, um, yeah, it was, it was a really cute little charming movie, and, uh, um, yeah, I think the main draw is the stop-motion animation, it's, um, yeah, I think it's what mainly makes the movie, and, uh, um, so yeah, overall I'd give it a 7... A 7 out of 10, perhaps? I might even give it an 8, because, I don't know, I, th I think it was just really enjoyable. Um, I mean, it got a little slow at parts, um, mostly near the beginning. You know, there's a lot of uh, padding to help you... Yeah, a lot of padding as they, like, introduce you to all the characters. Um, but, yeah, it, it still feels necessary enough. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, somewhere between a 7 and an 8. I think, I think this movie was good enough to, for me to consider giving it an 8, at least. Um, but yeah, that's about all there is to say. Um, I mean, if, if you're a fan of The Magic Roundabout, then... Yeah, definitely give this movie a watch, and, uh, you know, uh, kids might enjoy it, um, you know, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe it's not quite for, like, adults, or I don't know, maybe, like, even adults can enjoy it, I mean, I enjoyed it, but <laughs> take that as it, as you will. Um, but yeah, you know, um, if this type of move, or yeah, pretty much this movie is mostly what you would expect, or it might be a little, uh, dry and, uh, you know, a little snarky, some of the jokes might fly over, like, younger kids' heads, but yeah, it's, it's got some, it's got some good humor as well. 
Um, but yeah, it's just a very cute movie, and uh, if you're interested, I'd say definitely check it out. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just leave it there for now, and if there's anything I need to add, I'll put it in the comments. So yeah, Mash It and Smash It, signing off.